Oh man, I think it's here. It's on its way here, guys. Ooh, let me see. Oh, I think I see it. I see the truck. Oh my God, you have no idea. Going after him. I'm excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. Now I must wait until he gets to the door. Can't be weird about this, guys. Secretly stalking this guy. I don't know where he's at. He's taking forever. It is so big. I don't know what that is, but oh my God. I've been waiting for this thing for so long. It's finally here. This thing is massive. And I just realized mine might not actually fit on my desk. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm working with. Here we go. So this is my current setup. My work laptop, beautiful Mac. Hello there, Mac. And then I have my desktop kind of just hidden back there. I don't know if you can see. This is what I'm working with. And this, I believe, is a 21, 22 inch monitor. Apparently, we're gonna grab this guy and put it there. Okay. Yep. That's gonna be a problem. I think it might be too small. <laughs> All right, enough with this. Let's get on with the unboxing. Government officials report the virus is not airborne, but... Tech have a first wave, meaning about three months worth of cases around the world. All right, Woo. let's bring you back. Hey guys, how's it going? Wow, look at how big this monitor is. It's almost the size of this table and I still don't know how I'm gonna use it on my tiny stand of desk. This is the incredible Samsung 34 inch CJ79 ultra wide monitor. We're gonna be doing an unboxing of this awesome monitor that I picked up a long time ago actually. I've been eyeing this guy for a while. I wanted a monitor that could be good for productivity first and gaming second. This does have a high refresh rate, but it is good for games, and it's a Samsung monitor, so you can expect all the high quality from Samsung in this guy. I'm excited to open this finally and start using it. Here we go. Let's get started. Got this guy open. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Ooh, do that. We have I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like it might be the back panel. So this is white-ish kind of monitor. So put that to the side, put it there. Box here. By the way, I've never really done an unboxing. All my previous unboxings have been pretty awkward. And it's also a lot of work because of all the different cameras that need to be kind of synchronized. This is the power cable right here, as you can see. Perfect. Oh, nice, a Thunderbolt 3 cable, USB-C to USB-C. So this is another reason why I chose this monitor was because um, it has USB-C Thunderbolt 3, which is good for my MacBook. And then there's this guy, which appears to be HDMI, nice. I assume this is a HDMI 2.0. Yep, premium high speed. So it does come with the high speed HDMI. This might just be it. I saw another unboxing of this same monitor, but it was from a European edition and it came with the power bricks. So hopefully the US edition only comes with this. That would be sick. Okay, but it looks like Thunderbolt 3 cable, HDMI high speed, probably 2.0 if I would imagine, and power cable. So let's set this aside. Oh, and then I guess this is a something. So I think this is a VESA mount. I think it's what it's called. If you want to mount it against like a, another stand or something, but we're gonna see and find out. Grab this big piece. So you know how I said that the European edition came with a big power brake and I hope this one didn't. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Here is the big fat power brake that this thing comes with. This is massive. It's 180 watt, 24 volt, like, see that right there? Yep, that's this. Woo, she's in here. All right, 
this is gonna be good. I don't know how to open this. Oh wow, it actually comes with the stand already connected. That's nice. Thank you, Samsung. No. Look at this. You can't see. Look at that beauty. This thing's massive. Ooh. Look at her. Ooh. Samsung does know how to make good looking products. I'll give you that. Everyone's favorite part, peeling off the plastic. I don't even know where to begin. This is the new Samsung QLED monitor. I don't know where the British accent came from, but we'll just roll with it. They don't make it very easy for you to pull off the plastic. I'll give you that. It's looking good, it's looking good. Oh snap, this needs to be handled with some B-roll. And uh, shall we start the main peel, ladies and gentlemen? This is a monitor in its full glory with no wrapper plastic. So this is the monitor all the way down. Then it comes back up. I like the fact that it came with a stand already. That is very, very nice. Cause all I have to do is just plug in the cable. I'll show you the back of the panel in a little bit, but I just kind of want to lay out all the accessories. So we have the big power brick. We have a back panel, hide the cables, Thunderbolt 3 cable, HDMI 2.0 and then the rest of the power cable. Now that I see, like this stand is actually really nice. It would be nice if this had a wireless charger, but it doesn't, so that's okay with that. Go ahead and plug this into my MacBook and see how it looks. I have this monitor kind of powered on, as you can see, like if you were to put this in a corner. MacBook here, only plugged in by the included Thunderbolt cable. Now it's my understanding that this thing pumps out 85 watts of power, which should be enough to power on the 2019 MacBook Pro. This thing looks massive. You can see, you probably can't see, but I have the 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro um, clearly works with this monitor and it looks very, very good. 60 Hertz, so let's go ahead and uh, this monitor is running at 60 Hertz. You do have a 100 Hertz option. We'll try that, see what happens. That's nice. I know you can't see it because this video is actually being recorded in 24 frames per second. Now running at 100 hertz and this thing is smooth as butter. And I am running at 3440 by 1440 resolution. So full resolution of the monitor at 100 hertz. So do a little comparison with Google Chrome tabs. Hopefully you can see there. That's two Chrome tabs open right there. And it's pretty much the size of what one would be on a regular 1080p monitor-ish. Have two at full scale and it still looks good. So now let's go ahead and open a Casey Neistat vlog. Welcome, welcome to another tech review. Wow, that's hilarious. He's writing a tech review. That's kind of what I'm doing here with this monitor as well, 4K version. So let's see how that looks. So this is a 21 by nine monitor. Obviously 4K content does not really meet the resolution of this. But as you can see, you get bezels. Um, but other than that, like this thing looks amazing. The quality, the color, I can't really translate that from the camera, but this looks freaking good. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for this. So now uh, I'll, hopefully I'll post another video on showing the gaming capabilities of this from my PC, not from my MacBook, but so far I'm excited and I'm actually gonna go edit this vlog right now using this monitor. So thank you so much guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you thought this was helpful and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.